Sangdabi Berhad is a major Malaysia-based multinational conglomerate involved in five core sectors and one of it is plantation. Plantation industry is a large-scale farm that specializes in cash crops. In the 21st century, there has been a resurgence of investment in plantation agriculture in the frontier countries of Cambodia, Laos and Myanmar, driven by similar factor to a century ago especially assessed to cheap land combined with high commodity prices, also the Cambodian as the main labor with local valuation as auxiliaries. So, Samdabi are extensively enlarged their plantation to Vietnam. And here is the story. Samdabi sees opportunity in the Indochina and plan to join venture with Hong Ang Gia Lai, or HAGL. However, this venture has the special risk where the deep-seated historical and cultural problem will spill over into internal conflict in the firms that will ultimately and adversely affect operations and long-term viability of the joint venture. The executive of Samdabri seek advice from the consultant for the joint venture issue between the Samdabri and SJGL. She worried that the top management make a rash decision into agreeing to set up the plantation in Laos. She is also worried that some of his colleagues may have been taken by corrupt provincial officials and some key policymaker members of the Laos People Revolutionary Party. There also no other Malaysians from the corporate office in key position in the joint venture, despite 55% stake in the equity. After heard about the issues, the consultant meet with his partner to do a research. The next day, they go to Vietnam to observe the environment and problems that already occur in some other plantations. The plantation will have a mainly Vietnamese managerial staff and there are internal conflicts between the Vietnamese manager staff with the lower level Cambodian and Laotian labor. The most worrying concern is with the Cambodian as the Vietnamese minorities in that country is often called by the derogative term Yon, which means barbarian. If some Dhabi join this venture, the advantages is expand the market of Sam Dhabi. Sam Dhabi can take this opportunity to penetrate into the Laos market and build their new empire there. One of the advantages that Sam Dhabi can get from the Laos market is cheap labor costs. And this can be a huge opportunity for the company to increase their profit margin. Secondly, from this joint venture, Sandabi can build a business relationship and networking with other foreign countries. HAGL is one of the well-known companies in Vietnam that focus on real estate, rubber, other cash crops, energy, and mining industries. They also have a huge investment in Laos and grow significantly outside Vietnam with investment of $1 billion in Laos. In addition, Laos also is one of the countries in the world that have big potential in the agriculture industry. Thus, Sam Dhabi should see this situation as a good opportunity to grow their business operation. Next, Sam Dhabi can share and lessen the risk 
in penetrating new market in Laos. This is because if the project growing slow or fail, the losses will be shared by both parties instead of some rabbit alone. Besides, the operating cost also can be minimized due to the sharing of expenses between two parties. It makes the penetrating process in Laos become more easier and secure. Lastly, the opening of new plantation area in Laos will contribute to the job employment for Laos citizens and this can help them to increase their quality of life. Samdabi can also use the employment offer as one of their CSR to the Laos. On the other hand, the joint venture between these two companies also bring potential negative impact to the Saim Derby. One of the main issues is regarding the internal conflict in Indochina. These conflicts are deep-seated and root historically since Vietnamese colonization of Cambodia and Laos, which reached its peak in the 19th century under Ming Mang, in which the emperor expressly stated that the Cambodian and other non-Viet people are barbarian. In 2013, SJGL had been accused of illegally seizing land in Cambodia and Laos and committed right abuse in collusion with those governments. SJGL also used bad tactics to evict people in Cambodia and Laos from forest land they depended on for their livelihood. If the joint venture occurred, it may disrupt the plantation operation due to the crisis between Vietnam and Laos in the history and present day. This is because there will be an interaction between the Vietnamese manager and Laotian labor. Thus, there are potential the employee might disobey the order and lead to the low employee performance. Hence, low performance might damage the production and performance of the Samdabi too. If Samdabi decide to not join venture with HAGL, they will lose opportunity, but at the same time, those risks can be avoided. The consultant had decided to encourage the Samdabi to join venture with HAGL, this is the opportunity offer. Not to deny that the joint venture will bring negative impact, but the consultant had come with some suggestion to solve the internal conflict in the plantation. Firstly, Samdabi should discuss with HAGL group on what benefit that they can offer to the local people in Cambodia so that they can gain trust from those group of people. For example, they can offer increase in wages, job promotion, and training to improve their skills. In addition, Samdabi and HAGL group should also provide opportunity for Laotian that have potential to work in manager level. This will encourage the labor to increase their performance and motivation to be promoted to the higher level. Samdabi also need to make sure that HAGL group is not violating the local labor's right and should treat them equally. This is because the labor is still affected by the unequal treatment from the Indochina crisis. To get more trust and consensus from the local labor, Samdabi and Hishaji Eku must convince the local people and government that they will behave ethically and not invade the forest and land that the ocean people had high dependency on. Moreover, Samdabi have to make sure that the joint venture is secured. This can be done by making sure Hishaji Eku always update about the business operation in Atapu. Somebody also can do an annual visit to Atapu and interact with the laborers to get an insight about the laborers and protection working at the foundation. If somebody finds that some laborers should make contract by the group, they should withdraw from the foundation without any contact.